Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make these colorful seed beads earrings with heart-shaped petals. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself even if you are a beginner and I'm using really simple stuff only seed beads and regular earring findings so I'm sure you will find them in your stash and in any beading store if you don't have them. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and if you are new here to this channel. If you are not new, you could skip this intro and go to the work itself, but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. And I will be so happy to see your creations. Uh, you could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank to all of you so much that like, share and comment. You don't know how much of a support this is. You help me so much. Thank you again and now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this tutorial are four colors of 11 seed beads and here I'm using earring findings in black color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up are 12 of these beautiful black beads. Now I have my 12 beads here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I want to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and always when you pull make sure the loop is between the two beads where you started the knot from and now what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction Okay. So now guys I have this and now what I'm going to take are three orange beads and as I'm exiting here through this bead I'm skipping the one that's on my way so this one and I'm going through the third one just like this. In my next step I need three green beads. I take them. As I'm exiting here I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following black. Then what I take are three yellows. Skip the one that's coming up on my way and go in the next one. Then again I will repeat three orange, skip one and go through the following and then I will continue with a green and a yellow. pay attention where I go with the yellow through the first bit that I've been through when I was starting my work okay now I have this colorful element it's really cool 
I want to exit here at the top and now I will take the color I'm exiting out of then a black bead then uh, the color I'm going into so orange black and green and I'm going like this then I will do the same thing color I'm exiting out of then a black and the color I'm going into and I go here again exiting out of yellow I take yellow then I take a black then I I'm going in orange so I take orange okay and I will continue this until the end of this row okay guys now I have this and in my next step I'm going through the orange black green and now as I'm exiting through this green okay like this I want to take five green beads I'm skipping the next green and going through the following green then I go through the black and my goal is to exit out of the first yellow and then I take five yellows five you see skip the yellow that's on my way and go through the next yellow and you could also go through the black and through the orange because uh, my next step is to go through the black and through the orange and in this way I save time okay then again five and go through the next three and I will continue this until the end okay like this and now guys what I want to do is exit through almost all of those five green beads that I added so I'm going through four of those five green beads that I added and then I will do a similar thing what I did before I will take a green because I'm exiting out of a green then I will take a black and I will take a yellow and then I will go through these yellows here okay like this then what I want to do is go through these top three beads of the five that I added okay I'm going through one two three of the top beads and I need a yellow a black and the next color that is orange okay and what I do is that I go through the top three of my five that I added in my previous row now I have this then again orange black and green And I go like this first through one of those three beads then through the next two okay and I think you got the idea and I will continue this and meet you at this step okay and here I am at the last step of this row and again I'm going through the top three beads here just like this 
Okay guys, and now in my next step, as I'm exiting through the first yellow here, what I want to take are two yellows because I'm exiting out of a yellow, one black and then again two greens. Two greens because I want to go back into this green here. Okay. Okay, like this. Then I will go through these two yellows one more time. I'm taking two yellow beads, one black bead and two green beads like this and I'm going back through the greens. Like this. And then again through the green, black, yellow. Okay. Then what I want to do is go through all of those yellows through the black and I want to exit through the first orange. Through the first of the orange beads. And what I need are two orange beads one black bead and because I will be going into yellow, two yellows and I go like this. Then again one more time through these two orange beads and I will repeat the same thing. Okay. I will show you this one more time and then I'll let you do this until the end because I'm sure if you're up to here you will be able to make it especially if you rewind and see the first three steps that I'm showing you will be able to repeat them Okay, meet you here. Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last five beads from this row. Go like this. Then I go like this. Okay, in my next step, what I want to do is go here through the central bead that is sticking out the most. Okay. And here, as I'm exiting here, you see where my thread is exiting out of this bead. And I need three green beads. And I'm going in the third green counting from the top. Okay. I'm going in this green. And I pull. Then I go through the black and through the third yellow counting from the top. And I need three yellows and I'm going here in the central yellow. Okay like this. Then I need three yellows. Go in the third yellow counting from here. Okay. Then I go through the black and through the third orange. Again counting from 
outside to the inside. And what I need are three orange beads go through the central here. And again three orange beads and go here through this one. Then you know what I go through the black and through the following green the third green counting from outside to the inside. Now I take three again and I go here through the middle one and I'm showing one more time how I'm adding three like this and then I'll let you do this by yourself until the end. If you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind, see the previous step and continue. Okay, meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here and I'm adding the last three green beads from this row. Okay. Now what I want to do is reach the top here, going in this direction. And I want to reach the top black bead. Okay. Then I exit through this yellow. And I'm going to be doing my last row. I take three yellows. Go through this yellow, the middle of the tree that I added in my previous step and pull. Now what I need is to take one black bead and I'm going here through this bead that is sticking out the most which is the central of the three beads that I added in my previous step. Now I need three more beads and I'm going here at the last yellow and you could also go through the black and through the orange just to save time just to save one movement. And you see my first heart is ready. Then again three orange beads. Go in the one that's sticking out the most or the middle of the three I added in my previous step. Then a black. Go in the one that's sticking out the most again. And three. Okay. I, sh I will show you with the green and then everything repeats, repeats, repeats. Okay, continue this pleasant and nice row until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and I have my last heart ready. And by the way, you could go around the edges and reinforce your work if you want. It's not obligatory. Okay, and how I attach my earring finding. I take it, two seed beads, earring finding, two seed beads, this is what I have, oops I took three, two, two, and I'm going back in circle through this black bead. Okay, and now I'm going to reinforce it. And 
point when I reinforce it I will find a place to make a knot let's say here I'm making here a loop and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I go through the following seed beads and I cut my thread okay guys and now my flower earring with heart shaped petals is ready okay guys and now my flower earrings with heart shaped petals are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button and in this way you will be informed when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. You will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages I will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me